Well, good evening slash good morning. Yeah, it is uh, where I'm at. It is evening. Where you're at probably is the morning. I, I did this la last night and you got it in the morning. Uh, it is actually pretty early in the morning where you're at. But I'm doing my morning devotions for you now. <coughs> so this morning I'm going to talk about Hebrews 12, 1 in an English easy to read version. So check this verse out in Hebrews 12, 1. Here's what it says. It says, we have all these great people around us as examples. Their, their lives tell us what faith is means so we too should run the race that is before us and never quit we should remove from our lives anything that would show, slow us down and the sin that so often makes us fall so today i've been i've been watching the olympics and and all the things going on and well it was it was a mountain bike race today and i'm thinking man that's pretty cool and so i was just like okay and got to the girls mountain bike race and one young lady flate face plants right there she quits you know she's out i think she knocked herself out and then we move on to the time trials uh, uh, for the ladies, and there was this story uh, uh, of American time trial that in 2020 she um, actually went so fast that she actually went over uh, the uh, beam, you know, uh, a side rail, and cut her leg up, and um, actually um, had to have surgery. Between 2020 and this time, she had a heart attack, too. And so she's in this time trial, and she's like, uh, she's going after it, right? She's just rocking it. And she's going around the corner. She slides. Uh, it's raining. She slides. She un unclips. She gets back up, and she's she's riding this time trial again. She gets up. You know, she's riding. She's not giving up. So back to this verse in Hebrews 12, 1. It says, we have all these great people around us as examples. Their lives tell us what faith means. So we too should run the race that is before us and never quit. And so when I think about this, this woman who cut up her leg going over a side rail and who had a heart attack and who in this race today didn't give up. And so many times when we feel like in life, all this stuff is hitting us all around, we try to give up. We just kind of throw in the towel. Here's what the Lord is saying is, saying this, we should remove our, from our lives anything that would slow us down, anything that would weigh us down, that sin, that stuff that so often makes us fall. Keep our eyes focused on the end result. In the time trial, it's trying to get to the, the next the next moment, that, that, that end of the race, that the mountain bike race is finishing the, the loops. It's getting the race done. And, it, and basically what it means is that our, what is our focus? What is your focus? What is your purpose? What is, don't let things entangle you, the things of this world to weigh you down, but focus. God has, here's the thing, my friends. There are great examples that have discipled you, have led you in the right way. Shed off that, all that sin, all that stuff that easily entangles you and keep running that race. Amen? So get out your notebook, Hebrews 12, 1, in the ERV or the easy to read version. Or write it in your whatever version you're reading. But here's the verse. It says, we have all these great people around us as examples. Their lives tell us that what faith means. So that we too should run the race that is before us and never quit. We should remove from our lives anything that should would slow us down the sin 
that so often makes us fall. Write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to our life, P, pray. So let's pray. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put that in the common area. If you're watching this on Spotify or, or in, uh, YouTube, do the same thing. So let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for those watching now and those watching later. Encourage their hearts. Lord, give them a great Tuesday. Pray that you bless them. I pray that, Lord, if there's someone sick, that you heal their bodies. If there's some, those that are well, keep them well. I pray, Lord Jesus, for those that are, um, uh, I pray for our government that you help them make a godly decision. I pray for our economy that you turn it around. I pray for those that are in need that, Lord, that you provide for them. I pray that, Lord, that you help us to be a blessing those to us around us. I pray that, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody. Lord, I pray that you help us to have a great day in your name. Amen. Have a blessed day slash blessed night and have a great day. Love you guys. We'll talk to you again later. Have a great day. Love you guys.